Hello zombies! Long time no see! I was dying! We're all dying. Sorry, I won't bring it back to the last video. It's been rough. I was in the kind of pain where you actually just can't stop moving and just groaning and you can't get comfortable no matter what you do. I almost went to the ER at one point because I couldn't take it anymore. Anyway, that's where I've been. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Mikey, but spelled funny. And my, and, and, mm, I don't know how to spell my name. <laughs> Nobody does. It's M-Y-K-I-E. So I saw a video on YouTube. It's by a girl named Leah Halton. I don't know if she's the first to ever do it or not. And it is titled One Hour Birthday Transformation. And in asterisk, extreme. Now let me tell you something. This girl is great. I could listen to her talk forever. Vomit makeup. She looks great by the end. But the thing is, she's like model status from the very beginning. Like she is always a picture of beauty. And granted, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I think, personally, to call her transformation extreme is a bit of an overstatement. And then I was sitting on the couch, decrepit, perhaps with the coronavirus, we'll get into that, and I thought, Mikey, you're an actual potato from scratch. Your skin's not great, your tan is never great, which doesn't help how your skin looks. It's pretty good today. Actually, no, it's not. You have no visible eyebrows, you have no visible eyelashes, your roots are gigantic, Spencer get on that. Thanks for nothing, Spencer. But I can turn shit out with makeup and some wigs and a little outfit. I can make my transformation truly extreme and for being full potato for about a month in my sickness. I want nothing more than to just get back into the glam. I feel most myself with a full face of makeup on because I get to express myself that way. And that's the thing that I also wanna talk about with this because there's been a trend going around on like TikTok and maybe just on TikTok, of guys exposing girls for catfishing themselves because they look so different with makeup on. Well, I'm here to say this. A, none of those girls in those viral TikToks actually look any different from their pictures. And like Sarah McGonagall said it best, I think, if you're fooled by a little mascara and good lighting, it says more about you. Second, makeup's meant to make you look different. Otherwise, why would we spend so much money and time on it? But three, we use it to look different most of the time just to express ourselves. I don't mind looking like a pale potato. I have a hot ass boyfriend. My dogs still love me. I clearly go on the internet in front of potentially millions of people naked faced like I don't care so if a girl likes to look so different that you think she's catfishing you that just means that you're with a girl that is way too goddamn cool for you because she likes to express herself she's artistic and you sir are actually pretty shallow and with my defense of women everywhere wearing a lot of makeup or men I am an extreme case of a makeup transformation and I'm gonna show you how good I can look within the next hour all that to say that if you're new and you're thinking to yourself right now that you like me with no makeup better. You don't even need any. Anyone who's not new here already knows. But anyone who is new here, I'm already wearing a ton of makeup. So let me show you how I actually wake up. It's really, really cute. It looks like I just crawled out of a dumpster. Why do I look like Bernie Sanders right now? Medicare for all. Free college tuition. I wrote the damn bill. I gotta work on that. Yeah, this is, this is me in the flesh, okay? This is just who I am. You guys think that this hair is just like a part of the shtick. No, this is, this is me all the time. Yes, I woke up like this. I know, I know. It's 4.09 in the afternoon. I didn't wake up right now but I did wake up like this. I rolled out of bed like this. Yes, please take me swimming on the first date. I love to swim. The first thing I need to do, besides the obligatory improved hairstyle, is I'm gonna take out my contacts. I'm gonna put in my contacts. Oh boy, did my brain just wake up today too? Yeah, so it's been a while and I'm sorry about that. I have been sick for so long, and this sickness mutated into all these different kinds of things. I went to urgent care so many times, twice, 
Three times if you can't with Anthony. I got him sick too. He also had his own thing going on. We've been a mess. First I was convinced I had the flu. 1000% this is the flu. It felt way more intense than a regular cold. Ah! I just got foundation on my white sweatpants. I just got these. I went to urgent care. I said, I got the flu. They said, let me test you. I said, okay. And literally two minutes later, they were shoving a giant Q-tip up my nose as though they were giving me a lobotomy or I was like an Egyptian prince and they were sucking my brain out of my nose to preserve it. <sighs> it's not a fan. And then they told me I haven't had the flu, which is a real mystery to me because I've never felt that horrible and it not have been the flu. It was not a cold, that's for sure. So I grilled the doc and I was like, yo doc, if it's not the flu, what is it? And she said, probably some kind of mystery virus. Now to me, that sends off alarms because there's only one virus I can think of that's been like quite a mystery to people as of late and that's the coronavirus. So I look up symptoms of coronavirus. They are just like the symptoms of a flu. <laughs> So then I was convinced for a while that I had coronavirus. But then, after I started to feel better, my neck got super stiff. I felt like I'd been in a head-on collision. I couldn't turn my neck like this quickly. It had to be like... And me being a hypochondriac, I already knew that sounds like meningitis, which is no laughing matter. So then I was freaking out, convinced I had meningitis and I had hours to live. Like genuinely, I was freaking the f out. <sighs> it has been a while since we did glam. Truthfully, it's been a while since I've done glam on myself, period. Because when you're sick, you just don't care. I don't even know if I remember how to do my eyebrows. I don't even know if I ever really knew how to do my eyebrows. Anyway, I went into urgent care again. This doctor probably thought that I was like the most paranoid chick she's ever met. She said she didn't think I had meningitis because I had enough neck mobility that if it was meningitis, it would be even worse than that. That was good news, except that I still had a mystery virus. I basically quarantined myself anyway, and after a few weeks of this shit, <laughs> I'm finally back. So thank you guys for being so patient and assuring me to rest as much as I needed to. And maybe I even survived coronavirus, I don't know. I guess we're not going for natural brows today. I guess that's just out the window. Yeah, I really do look like that when I wake up. Sorry, straight boys, I'm not taking any more applications. I'm taken. Look, if I can land someone as babely as Anthony, looking like a potato in the morning, we can all do great things. Anthony wakes up and he's just freaking beautiful. But I guarantee you that if Anthony had a face full of makeup on, like other than a punk rock dinosaur, he would look different too. That's the nature of makeup. You don't put on makeup to look the same, stupid boys. This video is officially dedicated to stupid boys. Not the smart boys, not the nice boys. Don't come for me. Just the stupid boys. You know who you are, and if you don't, you might also be one. All the girls around you know who you are. And yeah, I might look like this when I wake up, but don't worry, I'm not a complete slob. I do dress up to leave my house to go to the grocery store. You wanna see how I dress up for that? This. I do this. That's the truth. What was I doing? Where was I? Brows. Sisters, not twins. So I guess these transformation videos are supposed to be like a like a going out kind of transformation. But if you want to wear a full ass beat face to the grocery store, do it. People don't know where you're coming from. You might have been coming from, I don't know, like an opera or something. I love that guys will say that we catfish if we look too different with makeup on, but some guys straight up grow a beard just to hide that they have a weak chin. Honestly guys, embrace your chin. Confidence is key. I have like the tiniest chin on this planet. What is this? I went to get Botox not too long ago because I'm trying to prevent my freaking accordion five head from developing permanent deep-seated wrinkles by the time I'm 31. And uh, the woman that I went to, I literally came in and I was like, it's, it's Botox, I'm good, no fillers. And she was like, <laughs> and she started poking all over my face. I know that like a lot of them do that because they try to upsell you. Actually guys, do you know that? Please, for the love of God, if you go do stuff to your face first, research the frick out of it. And then secondly, keep in mind, 
they're gonna try to sell you other stuff and embed a bunch of new insecurities into you. This female doctor starts poking and prodding at my face and telling me what makes me look older and how she can fix it with filler. And she's like, you know, you have a really big forehead. And I was like, yeah, I know. She was like, and you know, you have a really little chin. And I was like, yeah, I know. And she was like, I can fix that. And I was like, no, I'm good. I kind of like it, actually. I like having a little chin. And she was like, well, proportionately, you know, like your chin should be kind of even to your forehead. And then she straight up measured my chin <laughs> and then measured my forehead and told me the measurements for both and how they should be closer to the same number and they're really far apart and I can fix it. I can even out your face. It's just my favorite thing because sure, maybe that's like the golden ratio of faces, but have you ever seen when they combine um, a bunch of really attractive faces to kind of say, this is like what our eyes think are the most beautiful. But if you've ever seen what that face ends up being, they always end up being really kind of forgettable looking. There's nothing unique about them. I think what's wrong with our faces, what is disproportionate about our faces is what makes us the prettiest, like the most unique, the most memorable. Genuinely, I think that if my chin was much bigger, longer, she was talking about putting filler here so that they would be longer. I like that my face looks wider because my chin looks shorter. I think that's cute. I think wide faces are endearing. It's part of why I wanted really pronounced canines to make my smile look wider, to emphasize the wide face thing. I like it. And I don't need some doctor lady who I came in just to get rid of one deep-seated forehead wrinkle to tell me what's wrong with my face mathematically. So the next time you're in an office, if you partake in such activities, don't let them upsell you and make you feel bad about other parts of your face. If you weren't thinking about them before you came in the office, do not start thinking about them because one doctor poked at you. And no, I have a lot of people say to me or in my comments that I must get lip filler every week. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. I've only gotten it twice in my life and the last time was well over a year ago now, so there's nothing left there. This is just chef's kiss. Me. Right now my face is just a little more paralyzed and it's really strange and it makes it hard for me to actually do makeup the way I normally do because I can't. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but no wrinkles. I like the I like the movement of my face. That's another thing I said to her. I said I really like the movement in my face. I just don't want the wrinkles there when I'm not making a face, but they were starting to be there when I wasn't making a face, but now I can't even. All right, we got a little wrinkle there. There's a sweet spot and I haven't found it yet. It's only my second time trying this shit. First time it was too much. This time it's less, but it's still too much. I should have known that the lady who wanted to give me chin implants when I didn't ask for them was gonna put a little too much in my forehead. Whatever. <laughs> We've talked too much about this. All the straight boys that do find this video are gonna be like, oh my God, and she gets filler, she's so fake. Do what you wanna do, it's your freaking face, it's your life. Know the risks, do your research, then do whatever the hell you want. I've been doing the same eyeshadow for the last 10 minutes because I cannot do makeup and focus and talk and tell stories or talk about things I think about at the same time. It's a problem. If you guys wanna hear me talk about random stuff, let me know. I could just talk for ages if we took makeup away. What did I just, why did I just, mm, not the best. Huh? Oh, what is this weird halo effect we got going on here? Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna end up real cute by the end of this. You know how I know? Because I started out cute. This is why some people do their foundation last. I like to throw caution to the wind. Oh, it's not working out for me today. Okay. Hmm. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Couldn't stay away from it. Mmm. Been real into the cut crease lately, along with the rest of the world. Crease's cut. Time to use some shit that scares the. Oh, oh, oh. This and this. Ben and I sent me glitter to be cheeky because they know that I love glitter. And they sent me this glitter glue. And it's great, it holds glitter great, but it's also scary because if you put too much on your eye lid and then it drips into your eye, it feels like your eyeball's on fire. So that's my favorite thing about this glitter glue, just to make the experience of applying glitter even scarier than it already was. And then my other issue is set this on the edge of the table. It's this really, really fine, beautiful white glitter. I'll set it on the edge of the table so that I can get to it quickly once I need glitter. The problem is, as you might have seen, um, I flip it over a lot. So 
This is my second one that they've sent me. Very appreciative. Pretty. Ooh. Come here, honey. Oh my gosh. He's almost as big as Ripley. He weighs as much as Ripley did when she hit full grown status after like a year and a half. He wakes up looking this cute. Facts. What are doing? Oh, he's just trying desperately to get away from me. Story of my life. All right, bye. I mean, I exposed myself in my declutter video. I secretly love glitter. I kept so much of it compared to other things. Look, I like when I wear glitter, but I don't like when glitter wears me. Ah! Oh, I did it again. And this, kids, is why people put their foundation on last. But I like to throw caution to the wind. Frick! The brush trick, not working so well. Not working the way I designed it to work. Mmm. Mmm. Is there a black spot on my face now? Yeah, right there, gray. Ignore that. That's your jobs now, is to ignore my shortcomings. Because we're all human, god damn it. A lot of people will rag on me if my eyebrows look bad on it in a day. And it's like, look, I like makeup a lot. I'm sitting here defending it. My channel is makeup. Yes, my profession has been makeup. But like, when it comes to my own face, if it's not perfect on one given day, I don't really care. Anthony just texted me and asked him, Ask it. Oh my god, help. Anthony just texted me and he asked me if I wanted to go to the grocery store when he got here in about 20 minutes. Looks like I got dolled up to go to the grocery store like this. Like I said, if you want to just do this, let's go food shopping. More power to you. <sighs> Eyes are done. I'm gonna fix my gray face. This is what people do. Foundation last. Say it with me. How did I end up with black up here? Oh, why does my whole face just look dirty? So I just have a light coating of black eyeshadow all over? I might, honestly. I think my neighbors are peeing. Okay, why is this getting worse as I try to improve it? Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's not peeing, that's a bath. Someone's taking a bath. I love my new apartment. I'm fine, this is fine. My face still looks gray. Oh, is it an improvement? Can we call this an improvement? I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it, but we're moving on. Things could get worse and I don't want them to, so let's just powder it. Oh, it's a little, a little too much. Who takes baths? Who are you, Katie? I don't know anyone else on this planet that takes baths besides Katie. Leave it down in the comments if you're a bath person, you psycho. Who has time for baths? I need to get clean and get the frick out. Why do I still look so white? I'm the whitest person ever. I can't believe I just asked that question. <sighs> oh. Bath's full. Have fun up there. Scrub real good in between your toes. If he can hear me, I can hear him. 1,000%. Ow, I just hit myself. I feel like we should keep the, keep, keep the lips. We should keep the lips pretty neutral. I think it's time for a wig and outfit, and that will complete my one hour transformation that took two hours. I had to stop for a lot of shit, okay? You saw it, shit went wrong. Oh, now I really look like Bernie. Let's see if I can catfish you. When you get that messed up, got me looking like no face. Make it rain, leave it wet like a snowflake. I'm sorry, give me space, you're like, no way. That's a red flag, bitch, no late. Catfish Mikey. I'm really proud of my ability to transform with just makeup and some accessories. I think it speaks to what an expressionistic, is that a word? Expression filled, expressionable. I think it speaks to how much artistic expression goes into this art. I like being able to be a chameleon. I like being able to change up my look whenever I want very easily. And as you guys know, you might never see me in pink normally. So I could do this all over again and look like an entirely different person. When he says he wants to see other people, which one? Remember, it's your face, do what you want with it. If you're new here or lurking, please hit subscribe. If you think I'm just another pretty potato face, you're wrong. I make myself extra hideous on the regular. Check out all my other videos. Turn on the notifications here because if I get sick with another mysterious virus, you might not know what I'm gonna upload next. Oh, 
Anthony's here. That's my cue to leave. Time to go grocery shopping. Bye. She optimistic, not me. No ghetto Esther Aki. Woe is me, LaBelle. Do feet, she still want me. Say, la vie. I can't even leave my place without hiding my face. Just a glamorized desk job riding away. I ain't even got friends. Feel like everyone's fake. Really praying for the day that Reaper take me away.